Darista, the Madprost implant, is designed for intracameral administration and sustained release. Indications and usage. Darista bimatoprost implant is indicated for the reduction of intraocular pressure, IOP, in patients with open angle glaucoma, OAG, or ocular hypertension, OHT. Important safety information. Contraindications. Darista is contraindicated in patients with active or suspected ocular or periocular infections, corneal endothelial cell dystrophy, for example, Fuchs dystrophy, prior corneal transplantation or endothelial cell transplants, for example, decimase stripping automated endothelial keratoplasty, DSAEK, absent or ruptured posterior lens capsule due to the risk of implant migration into the posterior segment, hypersensitivity to bimatoprost or to any other components of the product. Darista is a sustained release biodegradable implant containing 10 micrograms of bimatoprost and should only be administered once per eye. This union of medicine and technology has created an exciting new therapeutic category in glaucoma, the first and only FDA approved biodegradable intracameral implant providing sustained reduction of IOP. Darista offers a physician-administered alternative to topical medication or laser surgery for patients with open-angle glaucoma or ocular hypertension. The drug delivery system was developed specifically for sustained drug delivery and employs an advanced polymer matrix that includes the biodegradable synthetic polyesters, polyglycolic acid, and polylactic acid. This polymer matrix maintains targeted delivery and slow, steady-state release of bimatoprost over time. The Durista implant is 0.2 millimeters in diameter and about 1 millimeter in length. One of the most exciting aspects of Durista is that it provides a stained drug delivery for several months. Durista is supplied preloaded in a single use applicator with a 28 gauge needle. Durista is held inside the applicator tip by a retention plug, which dissolves upon administration and is eliminated. When administering Durista, remove the cap. Avoid contacting the needle tip with the cap. Inspect the needle tip for damage. Remove the safety tab by pulling it out perpendicular to the long axis of the applicator. Do not bend or twist the tab. Stabilize the eye as the needle is advanced through the cornea. Enter the anterior chamber with the needle bevel visible through clear cornea. Enter parallel to the iris plane adjacent to the limbus through clear cornea and the supero-temporal quadrant. Insert the needle approximately two bevel lengths with the bevel completely within the anterior chamber. Avoid positioning the needle bevel directly over the pupil. Ensure the needle is not bent before depressing the actuator button. Release the implant by pressing the back half of the actuator button until an audible and or palpable click is noted. Then, Withdraw the needle and tamponade the entry site. The implant should not be left in the corneal injection track. When administered into the anterior chamber, Darista rests in the inferior aspect of the iridocorneal angle. Biodegradation starts upon administration. As the implant biodegrades, drug elutes. Darista administration bypasses the ocular surface. After administration, the biodegradable polymers are reduced to water and carbon dioxide over time. Therefore, the Darista implant does not remain in the eye permanently. Sustained release intracameral Darista is a paradigm shift in the treatment of open angle glaucoma and ocular hypertension, another important advance in eye care from Allergan. Important safety information continued. Warnings and precautions. The presence of Darista implants has been associated with corneal adverse reactions and increased risk of corneal endothelial cell loss. Administration of Darista should be limited to a single implant per eye without retreatment. Caution should be used when prescribing Darista in patients with limited corneal endothelial cell reserve. Darista should be used with caution in patients with narrow iridocorneal angles, Schaefer grade less than 3, or anatomical obstruction, for example scarring, that may prohibit settling in the inferior angle. Macular edema, including cystoid macular edema, has been reported during treatment with ophthalmic bimatoprost, including Darista intracameral implant. Darista should be used with caution in aphakic patients, in pseudophakic patients with a torn posterior lens capsule, or in patients with known risk factors for macular edema. 
Prostaglandin analogs, including Darista, have been reported to cause intraocular inflammation. Darista should be used with caution in patients with active intraocular inflammation, for example, uveitis, because the inflammation may be exacerbated. Ophthalmic bimatoprost, including Darista intracameral implant, has been reported to cause changes to pigmented tissues, such as increased pigmentation of the iris. Pigmentation of the iris is likely to be permanent. Patients who receive treatment should be informed of the possibility of increased pigmentation. While treatment with Darista can be continued in patients who develop noticeably increased iris pigmentation, these patients should be examined regularly. Intraocular surgical procedures and injections have been associated with endophthalmitis. Proper aseptic technique must always be used with administering Darista, and patients should be monitored following the administration. Adverse Reactions in controlled studies, the most common ocular adverse reaction reported by 27% of patients was conjunctival hyperemia. Other common adverse reactions reported in 5% to 10% of patients were foreign body sensation, eye pain, photophobia, conjunctival hemorrhage, dry eye, eye irritation, intraocular pressure increased, corneal endothelial cell loss, vision blurred, iritis, and headache. Please see full prescribing information available at www.daristahcp.com.